Donnick Mara. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wonder, storyteller, artist to mature, and this time on Sage After, we've got Code Bunny. I've been wanting to poke at this one for the longest, specifically because I happen to be a fan of Mega Man Zero, and sure, this game isn't exactly Mega Man Zero. It's closest analog that I've heard from both other sources and also the creator themselves is actually... Shoot, I'm trying to remember the uh, specific project from Inti. Gunvolt. It's actually inspired by Gunvolt. We'll get into that as we play. I like that artwork. Pretty good pixel. Pretty spammy. With pretty spammy attacks so far. And by the look of it, we have a button to shoot, a button to jump, and a button to attack. Good to know. Shield an enemy. Mark it with an arrow, then go stash. Yeah, that'd be the gunbolt inspiration kicking in. Because in Gunvolt, the main way you dealt with enemies is by pegging them with projectiles, like, say, this arrow here, and then either using that arrow to Tesla coil electricity into them, or by physically attacking them and dashing up to them, removing all the stacks that you've placed on them. Of course, that's the playstyles of two different characters I've outlined, the titular Gunvolt and also another character in the series. I haven't played Gunvolt, but I know little bits and pieces about it here and there. Donk. By the look of it, though... Can't exactly jump higher than once. Donk. Crap. Yep. So far, so good. Good. And you. If you can get low enough, I can shoot you. Then use you to traverse the gap. Ah, right. The shot doesn't deal damage itself. It's the dash that does. And by the look of it, it seems like you could ping a bunch of enemies rapid fire. And if you do, then you could probably Tesla Coil off of them and deal a whole bunch of attacks with this character. This demo has two characters to play as, and we're probably gonna play as both of them, just on reference. Ah, wait a sec, can you hear me? Sorry to cut it so suddenly, I just got curious about those weird, uh, corruptions around here. They might be what's causing enemies to show up. By the way, have you tried using your parry yet? If you press Ghost Dash without marking, you can launch yourself through enemies. Timing is key, doll. Make sure you know when to use it, or it might hurt. Now go get him, Blondie. If you need help figuring it out, check the tutorials. Get to know. Ah. It's gonna take me a bit to actually get a read on when enemies attack. Wow, where did my health go? I guess I wasn't noticing. And... Bonk. Eh. Try again, I guess. Much better. So far, it's looking like these ladybugs here are just enemies that I could test the coil off of. Ow. Not too close. Donk. And by the look of it, by defeating enemies rapid fire, we seem to gain karma, which I'm assuming we can bank for damage? I I honestly don't know. Donk. Try again. Because there's gotta be something up this way, right? Donk. 
Donk. Donk. Okay, so that's using the detect move. Really? How am I gonna get back up here when these things perish? Because it doesn't seem like I can make it without using the ghost dash here. Maybe I'm missing something. Good. Okay, I can barely make that. There's nothing here. Unless I was supposed to go up top there and... That might not be doable with my current character. Donk. Ah. Wait, what? I don't remember touching this checkpoint. Uh. Wow, okay, so the lock is persistent. Interesting. At that, it seems like if I'm savvy enough, then I can barely cross gaps using the ghost dash. I understand, C. I didn't do that well. I, I know that. Hey, Hazel. I brought you some information. When you defeat enemies with your sword, you build up some kind of energy. Let's call it karma. Karma's displayed on a gauge on the bottom of the screen. Your health bar, too. Well, that's at the top. When you get hit by an enemy, you take extra damage based on how much karma you have. Karma builds up when your combo drops. You'll always get karma equal to your combo amount. But you can use it in your favor, too. When you ghost dash, you'll convert some karma into extra damage. Maybe something happens if you let it fill up, but that'd be scary, huh? If you're unsure, maybe you should keep it as low as possible to avoid any bruises. That's good information. And of course, gotten right before a boss. Ah! Wait for it. Crap. I thought I could parry that, but I missed the timing. That's a little funky. Apparently, anytime that projectile hits you, period, even if you've reflected it, then it's gonna give the boss some HP. That's really annoying. So, I can't let its projectile hit me at all. I goes to the player, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure that killed me. Forest of Morag unlocked. Cool. Let's try playing it. I need to be a bit more careful about how I play. Again, I have no experience with 
the mechanics of Gunvolt. I just know about the game, tangentially. I am, however, a very big fan of Mega Man Zero. Like, uh, one of the games that my sister ended up picking up at some point is actually Zero Collection, and I remember playing that many, many times and many, many summers. Donk. Donk. Just in case. I need to be more careful about those spikes. <laughs> By the look of it, it doesn't seem like you can use the counter within the air. Interesting. At that, enemies don't seem to respawn after you kill them. I mean, on the one hand, that's good, but it also kind of strips some of the challenge, too. Maybe that's just me. Even then, it's still a decent... It's not exactly a bad or a good design choice, really. Just something to talk about. I like the quality of the pixel work in this. Like, I, I genuinely respect good 8-bit and 16-bit pixel art. Inti Creates, uh, across the board, kinda gets my boner a little bit. I don't own many, game many uh, games from them at all. Sad face. Eh, nope. Donk donk. you. Someone who's gonna poof me elsewhere by the look of it. Donk. Boop. Your own personal hellhole. I see. Ah! Shouldn't have said that. Hmm. Okay, Energy Tennis boss. Little uninspired, but to me that's just me. Although, it also looks like only some of the shots can be parry. Specifically, the lighter colored one. I just need to make sure to yeah, get to it. They almost act like the, uh, shots Eggman uses within Sonic Advance 3's cyber something. Just... If you've played Sonic Advance 3, you know what I'm talking about. I'll leave it at that. Ah! Nope! Uh. Okay, one more. Okay, maybe one more past that. I'm just gonna wait. Ah, I can't wait. Damn it. <sighs> That's what I get for uh, being a little too idle. But then again, it's kind of what happens when I get thrown a lot of shots like this. I almost zone out. It's both a good and a bad thing, because in Dunlopy type games, where that tends to be a common trope, you know, all the bullet spam. Actually, trivia, Dunlopy actually refers, it actually translates approximately to curtain fire shooting game, if I remember correctly. Regardless. I zen out if there are a lot of projectiles on screen. It's kind of aesthetically relaxing to me. Just seeing all this shot spam and being able to dodge it like it's nothing. Little micro movements here and there make a lot of make a lot of sense and a lot of problematic situations simple in those types of games. 
in here? Not so much. If you're not moving around to try and get the shot that you need and hit it, then you're going to be spending a lot of time idle and it's going to lead you to your death. Case in point. Lovely. I hope I don't have to fight that boss again. I like it, but I would rather not have to fight it the second time. Oh, good. Turtle. Delicious camera chunks. And by the look of it, this is the right way to go. Yep. Good, good, good. Oop. Bonk. Probably should have waited. Let's do that. And two, one. Excellent. One, two. Good. Not so good because I had a bit too much karma. Two, one. I almost feel like I should just ow. Have that up and ready at all times and just let go of it when necessary. I think that's just me. Whoop. Donk. Also seems like fire just belting them out is kind of a free action. That's a good thing. Whoop. Mistake. Almost two mistakes. Whoop. Good. And there's goal. Not great, but doable. And that's it. Unless there's another reward you get for... There might be for, like, A ranking or S ranking a stage. We'll see. Oh, I really don't like the moments of this character. They seem to be skating around. And that leads to them having some fairly different momentum. It's like you start it up and it's like it has a bit of time to start up to its full speed as opposed to our other character who didn't have that. And what type of a... We don't have a projectile attack. Interesting. By the look of it, it seems like the dash attack is our means of actually getting things done. Other than kicking, which, yay. Uh, lovely. What happens when you fill up the X meter? Seems like it just powers up your next attack, which, okay, not bad, but not great either. Kind of a weak sauce reward. By the look of it, though, Axel definitely seems to take less damage. Sneak little trick. You might find it useful going forward. 
There's also many other hidden features in the UV suit, since it draws power from the user. If you need help figuring it out, check the check the discords. Okay. Okay, so the fourth button is the stomp. Good to know. Spinning! Spin. Spin. Ah, I see. So, with the spin. Ah! Oh, good. Seems like with the spin, I might be able to do some type of dashing kick. Not sure how. Oh, the rocket ball. Might require some experimentation. direction. Although, it seems like if I'm careful, I may be able to perform two spins back to back. I might not be uh, looking at that the right way at all. Stomp. Ah! Stomp. Look at it, you can only stomp one thing at a time. Lame. Whee! Axel, I've got some important advice for you. When your spin attack hits an enemy, it generates some sort of energy. Let's call it X energy. There's a gauge at the bottom of the screen displaying your current amount. When it's full, hold the direction and press the attack button for a comet kick. Oh, so that's the attack I was doing. Keep in mind that on the ground it only works if you're spinning, so be sure to spin before you use it. Also, if you drop your combo, you'll lose your EX energy, but it'll turn into health to instantly heal you. Good to know. Donk, donk, donk. Ah, donk, donk. No retries, because I was less than suck. And because I have a character that actually heals. And trying you in the Forest of Morag. Whee! I wonder if a controller is usable in this game. Because, uh... Currently I'm using a keyboard, and I've always consistently struggled... Ah, consistently struggled with using a keyboard for games for whatever reason. I can do it, but... The more keys are required, the more button flailing occurs, if you know what I mean. Eh! I like that kick combo. Wait. Nope. Mm. Absolutely pitiful performance. Let's try that again. This time, hopefully, with a little less failure. Beep. Two. Spin. Shouldn't have done that. Also shouldn't have done that. 
better. Whee! Up. <laughs> of course. Just, of course. Because this is me we're talking about. It's inevitable that I'm going to fall into every single pit at least once. It's inevitable that I'm going to be the absolutely clutziest raccoon you've ever seen. Donk. But I guess you could only use Comic Kick once every so often, because I don't know what happened there. I was still holding a direction and hitting the kick button with max EX energy. Maybe there's some detail I was missing. That's easily possible. Unless Comet Kick doesn't let you, like, propel in a direction. Ah! <sighs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Actually, this'll be late. But I want to see if I can map that control. Can excellent, and by the look of it, it seems to require DS4. Beautiful. At this point, that's just a standard. I should be opening this up at all time. Actually, come to think of it, I do open it up all the time. The only reason that I uh, have forgotten is because work has effectively put me in a mode where I have not been able to do this as frequently. As I wanted to. I'm sorry. I've let you down. Okay, so by the look of it. Alright, let's see how this works. Alright, there's jump, there's attack, spin. there's spin, and there's the other. Okay, this'll work. Shred. Spin, spin. Eee. Oh wait, I need to be spin. I need to be spinning for the kick. And by the look of it, the spin doesn't seem to affect you, unless I missed it. We get miss. Stomp across enemies to get across large gaps. Donk. By the look of it, though, it only seems like you can do one stomp at a time. Such, that's a little disappointing. I feel like you could be able to string together at least a few stomps. Maybe that's just me. Tried a little too hard to uh, edge the projectile. That's my mistake. Whee! Okay, so by the look of it, this projectile is going to be going over here. One more. Projectiles? Alternating sides? Ah! How did that work? They are alternating sides. How about that? And that's a flame flower. Come on, do your flamey stuff. 
and this is when I die. <laughs> of course. I was gonna try to back up it to heal, but evidently life had other plans. That happens a lot with me, doesn't it? I try to do one thing, and then everything seems to go wrong. How depressing. Okay, so the spin can be used on those two guys. Good to know. Ah! Just need to position myself the right way. Uh, what? That should That should have worked. The spin was still going, wasn't it? Are you kidding me? Okay, so by the look of it, the spin lasts just long enough, and I repeat, just long enough, that... Ow. That it ends just before it touches the ladybug. What? That's rude. There's Comet Kick. And I think you're wanting me to... Ah! Rude! Rude! You want me to stomp and spin. That's cool. That could have been better, though. should have been more for the demo. Maybe that's just me? Hold on a moment, I'll research it. Okay, so by the look of it, I have no idea how many stages there are. Let's assume three. Maybe there's a fourth for, like, getting an A rank on every stage. But otherwise, I think this is fun enough to leave it here. I'll leave the appropriate links in the description for where you want to go to try out these games. Check out their uh, itch page, check out Patreon, etc, etc. With all things settled though, I think it's about time I return to my void. Till again, holla kitna. And suddenly I want to make a joke about college dorm rooms. That should probably get censored. Donk. You are a nasty here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> People are nasty, he says. And yeah, after making a college dorm room joke and experimentation, um... Don't worry, I regret it too.